Uh huh. Yeah. No, I'm listening. Have you ever been in a conversation with someone who is obviously distracted? How did that make you feel? Did you feel like you were connecting with that person? Did you feel like either participant was learning anything in the conversation? I bet not. Hello, my name is Clint Bland, and I'm here today to talk to you about listening. I want to start off by saying that I recognize the irony of me giving a presentation about listening while all I'm going to do while all I'm going to be doing is talking. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about this. But my hope is that after listening to this presentation, you'll understand how important listening is in becoming a more effective communicator and leader. I also hope that you will be able to apply some of the information that we will go over today in your everyday conversations. In the next slide, I will introduce you to the purpose of listening as well as the different types of listening. Why should you listen? The book, The 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader by John C. Maxwell, defines two purposes for listening. One, to connect with people, and two, to learn something. In order to connect with people, you must listen to them. After all, if you aren't listening to what they have to say, then how can you possibly hope to build a connection with that person or learn anything from them? As leaders, we are looking to inspire others. In order to do this, we must connect with them on some level. Therefore, we must listen to what they have to say and make them feel heard and valued. That leads me to my next topic, which is about the two different types of listening, listening to respond and listening to understand. Listening to respond involves paying attention to what someone is saying only long enough to formulate a response back to them. This is a mistake that I see people make on a daily basis. In my career as an auditor, listening is, extremely important, is an extremely important part of the job. My job is to gather information about an area of the business and understand it well enough to say whether or not that area is doing what they say they are doing. In this field, if you are listening to respond and not listening to fully understand, then it's very likely you will miss something important that is going to cause issues later on. That is why we always should listen to understand and not listen to respond. In the next slide, we will talk more about how to properly listen to understand. To connect with their hearts, use your ears. That is the phrase associated with the chapter on listening in John C. Maxwell's book, The 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader. This is a great way to explain the importance of listening. Everyone wants to be heard and everyone wants to feel valued. We learned previously that our main two purpose of, purposes of listening are to connect with someone or to learn something. In order to achieve these goals, we must listen to understand. Listening to understand involves giving the person speaking your undivided attention and following along with any materials that they have given you. This lets the speaker know that you not only respect them, but you respect their time. It also allows you to add more to the conversation than if you were just listening to respond, and it lowers the chances that you will miss important information or changes in body language or the tone of the person you are, you are listening to. It also can make disagreements easier. I have found that when I'm speaking with someone about a topic that I disagree with them on and I listen to understand, then at the end of the conversation, if we still end up disagreeing, it makes the conflict easier because the other person feels heard. It also makes it easier to form counterpoints this way. Overall, when you listen to understand, you increase your chances of either connecting with someone or learning something. And those are the main two purposes of listening. In conclusion, I hope that you have learned a little bit more about how to be a good listener and why listening is important for successful communication and leadership. Remember, you can't do everything by yourself, and eventually you will need to inspire others to help you, and you will need to learn from them. By keeping our main purposes of listening in our minds whenever we have conversations with people, then we can become better listeners and communicate more effectively. Thank you for your time.